Hi, my name is Lisa Shen, and I am a product manager in Google Cloud. In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up Ansos Service Mesh for improved application security and visibility. We'll install the ASM on the Ansos GKE cluster on AWS. The similar process also works for GKE clusters on GCP and Ansos attached clusters such as a EKS cluster on AWS. Ansos provides a unified platform for managing Kubernetes clusters across different clouds as well as on-prem. These clusters can be running inside of virtual machines and instances as well as on bare metal. Ansos is a 100% software product that extends Google Cloud's services and engineering best practices to your environments, so you can modernize applications faster and establish operational consistency across them. Architecting your applications as microservices provides many benefits. However, your workloads can get complex and fragmented as they scale. Ansos Service Mesh is Google's implementation of the powerful Istio open source project, allowing you to manage, observe, and secure your services without having to change your application code. ASM unburdens your operations and the development team by simplifying service delivery across the board, from traffic management and mesh telemetry to securing communications between services. ASM is a managed platform that uses Istio APIs to provide service health tools, complex traffic controls, and manage, manage the security authority. It is fully supported by Google with an out-of-the-box telemetry dashboard and Ansos fleet integration. Customers adopt Service Mesh for a few reasons. With ASM, you can build secure services in your application. Another reason is the reliability provided by ASM, as it gives you uniform observability. ASM increases application visibility, and what gets measured gets improved. Advanced application layer networking and easy traffic management is another benefit provided by ASM. We'll explore some of these benefits in this video demo. Now let's navigate to the GCP console. As you can see, I have two clusters created already in my project. One is an Ansos cluster on AWS, and another one is the GKE cluster. In this demo, we're going to take a look at how to install the ASM on the Ansos cluster on AWS. There are some prerequisites that you need to be aware of before the ASM installation. The user cluster that you install Ansos Service Mesh needs to have at least a total of 4 vCPUs, 15 gigabyte memory, and 4 nodes. As you can see, our Ansos AWS cluster meets the requirements. Let's get to the terminal. First, let's make sure we're in the context of the Ansos cluster on AWS. And now let's run the kubectl get namespace command on the AWS cluster to verify that there is no ASM installed at this point. We also need to make sure that the cluster admin role is grounded on the cluster. Let's check on pong that. Okay. So next, let's use the curl command to download the latest ASM module. Now let's make the script executable. Now let's use the ASM CLI to install the ASM in cluster control plan. Note that the dash enable underscore all flag allows the script to enable the required Google APIs, set identity and access management permissions, and make the required updates to the cluster. The process is going to take about a minute or two. So while we're waiting for the ASM module installation, let's take a quick look at the overall installation process in the slide. Ansos Service Mesh gives you the option to deploy and manage gateways as part of your service mesh. 
A gateway describes a load balancer operating at the edge of the mesh receiving incoming or outgoing HTTP TCP connections. Gateways are on-way proxies that provide you with fine-grained control over traffic entering and leaving the mesh. We will install Istio Ingress Gateway right after this ASM CLI install. Ansys Service Mesh uses sidecar proxies to enhance network security, reliability, and observability. With ASM, these functions are abstracted away from the application's primary container and implemented in a common out-of-process proxy delivered as a separate container in the same pod. As a result, the developers can focus on the business logic, the separation resulting in a lightweight and portable application. So following the ingress gateway installation, we'll enable the automatic sidecar proxy injection so that Ansos Service Mesh can monitor and secure traffic. Now let's get back to the terminal. Seems the CLI install is done successfully. To verify that ASM is installed correctly, we'll use kubectl get namespace command to verify the ASM system and Istio system are installed. We're also going to see the parts running in the Istio system. The next step is to install the ingress gateway as we have talked about in the slide earlier. Since gateways are user workloads, and as a best practice, they shouldn't be deployed in the control plan namespace. So let's create a namespace for the ingress gateway. Now let's enable the auto injection on the gateway by applying a revision label on the gateway namespace. The revision label is used by the sidecar injector webhook to associate injected proxies with a particular control plan revision. Next, let's go to the directory that we have specified in the ASM COI module installed earlier. Some sample codes are installed in that directory during the ASM COI install process. We're going to deploy the example ingress gateway configuration file in the samples directory. To complete setting up Ansys Service Mesh, we need to enable automatic sidecar injection. We label the namespaces with the default injection labels if the default tag is set up, or a revision label that was set on its DLD. Note that any existing parts in the default namespace must be restarted for sidecars to be injected. We don't have to do that since there is no applications running yet in our default namespace. Now that we have the ASM installed and the sidecar proxy configured, we can go ahead and deploy our application to the default namespace and start observing the application behavior. We're going to use the book info application that comes with the ASM COI installed in this demo. And this is the Istio website related to this sample book info application. The book info application is broken into four separate microservices. The end-to-end -end architecture of the application is shown here. There are three versions of the reviews microservice, for example. Version V1 doesn't call the rating service. Version V2 calls the rating service and display each rating as 1 to 5 black stars. And version 3 calls the rating service, displays each rating as 1 to 5 red stars. Let's take a quick look at the sample codes that are also available in the Istio public repo. For example, the bookinfo.yaml file sets up the four services and deployments. For the review service, there is one container designated for each version of the service in the application. Let's also take a quick look at the book info gateway YAML file, which describes the configuration for the application ingress gateway. The gateway exposes the services to user outside the service mesh and allows Istio features such as monitoring and route rules to be applied to the traffic entering the cluster. 
Now let's deploy the book info application to our Ansos cluster on AWS via the kubectl command. We're going to use kubectl apply command to apply the book info YAML file. As you can see here, the four microservices are being created by the book info YAML. And we can also verify the deployment and the services are created correctly. As you can see, the pods and the services are being created. Now that the book info services are up and running, you need to make the application accessible from outside of your Kubernetes cluster, for example, from a browser. So a Istio gateway is used for this purpose. We're going to define the ingress gateway for the application. And next, we're going to confirm that gateway has been created. Next, let's get the external IP address of the ingress gateway via the kubectl get service command. With the external IP address, we're able to access the application from the web browser. Now let's get to the web browser. Here is the book info application product page site. Let's pay special attention to the book reviews section in the website. Recall that we have three different versions of reviews defined in the book info YAML file. As I hit the reload button in the browser, these three different book review services are being called in a round robin style. First one is the review with no stars, and the other two are the black stars and red stars. Switching among the three services is normal Kubernetes routing and balancing behavior. Let's switch to the GCP console. The Ansos service mesh page in the Google Cloud console provides both summary and index metrics, charts, and graphs that enables you to observe the service behavior. And you get all the pre-configured dashboard service metrics and logs out of the box. You can monitor the overall health of the services or drill down on a specific service to troubleshoot the issue. Let's navigate to the topology view of the application services. Let's take a look at one service, say product page as an example. Let's click on the bubble and we can see more info related to the service and the SRE golden signals such as error rates and latencies are shown. We can expand it, which consists of a deployment pod and a Kubernetes service. The ASM plots the graph by observing network traffic internal to the clusters and services. Let's go back to the table view to see the list of services. We can select the product page service for a close examination. After the service is selected, a left navigation bar appears. The overview page displays SLO status, key metrics, and details about the service. The health page displays SL details. You can create service level objectives for individual services. These are supported if the apps are running on the GKE clusters and will be supported for Ansos multi-cloud clusters in the near future. The metrics page displays charts for key metrics and infrastructure metrics. You can break down the metrics in numerous ways, such as the cluster and the pod. Here, you can also view the application logs and traces to find more about your services. The connected service page displays details about inbound and outbound requests. The diagnostic page displays error log. And the infrastructure page displays the key metrics and details about each pod. You can click the pod name to go to the workloads page in the Google Cloud Console. For more information on the additional tabs related to the service, you can visit ASM Dashboard Technical Documentation website.
You can learn more about the Ansos Service Mesh and the installation details in our website listed here. In addition, you can check out the Istio Book Info application example I've used in this demo in the Istio website below. Thank you for watching the video.